All right there, welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption. So, long time that went through, that when I was rescuing Micah, and good thing that Sean was back here. You really should have hit your horse, dude. Nah, I think you you good to face there. I think he has to work with you. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Even you. Mr. McGuire is back. So come on. Let's have our show. We're back home now. Was it long? Everything's going to be okay. You Uncle no Sean idea. is back. And imagine. don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. <sighs> Your fellow countryman returns. Huh? Apparently. Well, enjoy. Game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> Alright, let's we take uh let's do that like for you. Song <laughs> on. I love you, bastard. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> <coughs> wow. I can take it like a beer or something. Yeah, sure, you can take it. Can we drink now, uh -oh, here come the I just can't get rid of you, can I? Alright there. Mind if I join you, fine folks? I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say. No matter what else happens, nothing quite beats sitting by the fire. You can have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. Hey, dude, you gotta take it easy on drinking stuff like that, bro. In our time, <laughs> they've... Well, you don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, careful, bro. I think I should be okay drinking. You deserve one. How many times have we heard this? It's a good one. She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh, mark well what I do say. She says, you did pretty high, do my diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her Wow, you're getting good at singing, dude. Ducks! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving, and and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. You better. You know what? That taught me something, and 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 it taught me something I will never forget. Dude, you're drinking too much. Girl, I hang up right there. Uh, dude, they're knocking off the drinking, and you're still drinking more. Remember, like last time, you're still drinking more. Look at me. Wait, you just get to drink whiskey now? Ah, uh, dude, that's not good for your heart, dude. At least it's, it's delicious. Yeah, whiskey is good, but it makes your heart stop if you drink too much. 
Dude, your your hardcore your hardcore is gonna get lower, so you be very careful. Well, ah, you're right. Another wish you an actress kid. Hey, you're getting alcoholic, dude. Did you know that one? Yeah, I think. <laughs> wow. I cannot even believe you're gonna be drinking too much. Yeah. I cannot believe you're just doing that. Doing what? I, I'll be okay to draft. Wait, cars were not invented back then. Because cars were not around back then. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, seriously, dude, stop it. You're ending up like Frick on Rick and Morty now. Who's Rick and Morty? What's that show? On the Adult Swim, yeah. I don't know nothing about TVs. Oh uh, yeah, cause TVs are not around from the Western. Be because TVs was not around back then. Hey, you're gonna start drinking? Oh my god, dude, you're, you're gonna get more drunk and drunker. Alright, seriously, dude, you gotta stop drinking. It's hurting your stomach now. It's hurting your liver. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, boy. Stop drinking too much, dude. Oh, you, you're making me do this. Man, you see lights now. Hi there, fellas. Hey there. What is this happening now? Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Man, you're walking properly. Oh boys, don't, alright, uh, that's it, dude, you're gonna die now. I'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
spin it too. And that's what they call a ring dang do. <laughs> Okay, bro, seriously. <laughs> bro, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, but you feel up buddy. Alright, take it easy, dude. Yeah, I'll be good at Ralph. Like a horse. Drunk now. Oh, I think Sean could take it. What is that song for? That's England song. I hate England songs. We got classic ever then. Dude, stop it. Stop it now. Stop. That trick is making me juicy. Yeah, you want to get some rest now? Because sleeping is good for you. Yeah, sure. Well, I'll get some sleep. Good for you, dude. Check that out. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Oh, okay, that looks like she needs our help. Uh, yeah, I think she does need your help, bro. I know, I know. Terrible. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by half. Yeah. Well, out in the Western times, so, um. Think of a cool Western movie, I could think of it. Okay, uh, The Gauntlets. 
I've never heard such a thing like that. It's like my instrument movie. Let's go, cool, girl. Like Western actress, you could think of it. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Uh, he's re he's a director, but he's retired. All right. Um, John Wayne. He died. Yeah, but John Wayne is a Western actor. All right. Um, D.B. Sweeney. He's a Western actor. He got divorced. Uh, dude, but he's a Western actor. Yes, but he's more like a divorced guy on this side of here. But he's an actor, so he got divorced. From his wife? No. From his career. So his career got divorced? I heard of it. Fine. You got me there. Got this one, Fel Kilmer. Who the hell is Fel Kilmer? The actor. He used to be on Tombstone. He's on, you know, Young Gun. Young Gun is a Western movie. I heard about this movie like once or times as a kid. Nah, do you never seen that movie? No, because it's not around back then. Gotta be more careful, bro. Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. Came into a bunch of money last month. Then I got drunk and went horn, and finally I woke up penniless. That's just the way it goes. Now let's just let's just keep going, bro. Let's just keep going. Morning, friend. Ah, uh, yeah, I think our voice is getting dirty. Yep, I know. I know what happens. Hold on, buddy. That's okay, girl. I'll clean you up. Morning. Howdy. Wow, you greet them. That's nice. Uh huh. You start greeting people, you earn your honor. But why should I always do that? Because it's the right thing to do, bro. If you antagonize them, they'll they'll talk trash at you. What a big deal. Uh, okay, I know how to do that on maps, but oh, uh, all right. Okay. What does she want? Get into her house so you can, like, uh, talk to her. Sure. I'm gonna go talk to her. You do that. Tell her the graphics are good. Oh, she me. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Why has she got a gun? Ha! <laughs> a collar for you. Oh, just let's just skip it. Uh, what are you gonna do something about it? Just help her. Yeah. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. You bet a good guy did. That was a good idea. Yeah. Once I was gonna tell you that, I think I've enjoyed this to talk about a lot of poke or something. Yeah. So this is it. So this is where he goes to, huh? I think you could say that. So. How do you think of when you were younger, why can't you get back to Blackwater? Well, that's a long story. Oh. So you are not the only person that actually was the robber in for Blackwater. No, no, I was, I was. Yeah. Dutch is right behind me and you 
killed his brother and from from Pinkerton's or something and the leader. Yeah, I think you did this like pretty well. You handle it just fine. I think you are missing the point there, buddy. Nah, I, I don't miss the point here. I think uh, it's telling a fact from you. Yeah. Uh, why can't you tell about this graphics for PS5 then? Uh, because it gets better quality and uh, it has good mechanics. And this is how it was supposed to be looking like that. Need a hand, miss? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Uh, Think you could give me a ride? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm fine. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guess you're doing the right thing. All right, let's, uh... You let's... know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Yeah. Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being, I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. Oh, we're getting close now. Yeah, we take the shortcut and right there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now that's where the Emerald Ranch is. All right, let's just slow down, dude. I think I, we're here. Yeah, I think we're right there, boy. Okay, looks like we're here. Yep. Ye here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Oh, nice. Appreciate it. What a lousy day. Yeah, it's it. Uh, I should have done like trying to do this stuff like this. It's like a client. I was about to do my job here. Well, dude, it's the right thing to do. You also have to do that. It's like to help her fix her life around. Yeah, I never thinks about that. Well, you know what, dude? You've got a good heart. More than I do. Hey, uh, do you ever gotta go hard? I, uh, well, yes, I have. Yeah. Yes, I have been, like, having a good heart lately. Because I just, um, yeah. I helped her around <laughs> with my friend around, and, uh, he, uh, oh, you're right. Um, so, uh, you were saying? Oh, yeah. Like, when I was, like, helping my friend out, like, this weekend, so that's not the reason. I can't help him anymore because he, he always makes me with the game and, 
he um, he took over advantage on the rules and and frankly I killed him because he doesn't even take his quality away. Well, you got yourself like a bad karma on your life, dear, huh? Yeah, cause he, uh, he asked me permission, uh, he didn't ask me permission, but my DR, he got me mad. I told him no, because I think he needs my permission first. Because I can't even do anything else right here, because I can't bring my VR into that living room. That's gonna be true. Because he made me go to outside because I scared him, like, from my, my family and all that. I got upset because my parents treat me like shit and everything, you can understand that. Yeah, I know how it feels, but your parents are just realized about something because your their parents are caring about you. Chelonia? What, what happened? His sister, Shells. They're breeding food for turtles. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur? I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Uh, um... I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Like what? Foles or turtles? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, <laughs> you love turtles. <laughs> I love them too. Turtles. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. Yeah. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Hey, dude. Jamie is a good guy. But he's just wants to talk about it. How about you lasso him? They're just using you! Telling you what you wanna hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? No. Yeah, hey, bro. We gotta do this the hard way! This is none of your damn business! Better start it off going out and do something here, bro. I know! I know, bro. Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! Jamie, just hold up a minute. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yeah. I was doing just fine by myself. Yeah, you're gonna hear me. Killer. You don't know who I am. Good. 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 
play, you're scaring the cattle. Oh, Wow. I warned you, Arthur. I'm I'm going to I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try well, to kill yourself. Yeah. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Stony is no really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. I'd go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Don't you touch me. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? Oh, I reckon I could enjoy choking you out. Make it quick Just or I calm might down. run off again. At least you got Watch some your damn sense, step. You? And what exactly is your problem? If you haven't got anything nice to say, you got all right there. <laughs> hey, bro. Knock it off. Don't need no more trouble from you. Hey, calm down, dude. Jamie! Jamie! Please! Thank you. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Wow, that's a good story, Arthur. Oh, trust me, that's not a story. That's just my facts. But it's a good story. Want to buy a paper? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Why well, will be? New Hanover Gazette. Here I ain't forgotten your brand of trouble. You best watch your mouth. This is not a game you want to play. 
I ain't taking that crap from the likes of you. You're fixing to make me mad, huh? Hey, hang on a second. I'm gonna rob you now. Take it! Uh. Here, 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 Valentine. You're as good as dead! Uh. Hey, dude. You better knock it off! Dude, don't don't take us money to that you get your new hand over to debt today. Dude, you're a bad person. No, it's not. It's a good thing, cause you actually need money. You don't need that much money, bro. You're that gonna get it. Did I ask for your opinion? That's awful cute. Hey, Miller. Gone for a dip hey, in the hog trough, huh? Not good. Even burn. I go to hell. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> hey. Okay. Don't antagonize I that dude, bro. Just leave, leave him alone. Oh shit! The guys are here. Look out! You don't want to do this. Just get out of here, bro. Seriously though, don't kill the cops. <laughs> Man, the law is still searching. Shut up. They're gonna they're gonna not code us. Good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Yeah, you're doing a great job, bud. Thanks. Whatever John wants. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. I'll try to talk it to her or something. Later or so. Why not you just get some sleep? Sure. In a field, someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire. My daddies were outside of Robin. Yes, 
up pretty good. I think we're all good with there. Come see for the Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train from. Hmm. I guess driving the train could help it out. Yeah. Good morning, Arthur. How's it going? You okay? Yeah. Just fed up with all the pessimism around here. Morning, mister. Kieran. Man. Hey, what are you gonna do about that, Arthur? Well, I think it would be a good thing to like Robin to it, they can go train or something. That'd be a way. I'll be aware for that. Who can go speak to John if you think it's good? No, you don't want to speak to John or something. I guess she doesn't want to talk to me. Well, at least she's doing his job, and I do by now. Yes. You're getting better at it, bro. Yeah, I know that. You play the A game, bro. That's just like playing. I'll be in debt now. I heard about it now. Well, not this cup, dude. He'll kill you a single horse. He was right about it. You're never wrong. Yeah. I think that must be the one. <laughs> 